We also have in the Quran d defined groups that God has outlined of people that he loves. So I'll read um, these, and they're, they're in no particular order. The first group are called the Al-Muhsineen, and these are the doers of good. So people who are engaged in just good, benevolent acts and deeds. The second are Al-Muttaqeen, and these are those people who are mindful of God, who are really self-aware and watchful over themselves, and they have the understanding that God is also ever watchful. Al-Muqsiteen, these are the equitable and just, so people who really push for justice and fairness. Um, Al-Mutahirin, al al so tongue twister. Um, those who purify themselves. Uh, we have a tradition of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that cleanliness is uh, part of or half of a faith. So that's why you may find um, when you visit uh, a mosque, for example, we will have uh, spaces, pretty large, considerable spaces for the what we call the uh, lustration or ablution that we is required of us before prayer. So Muslims will sometimes be washing our limbs, uh, face, up to four or five, maybe more times a day, depending on how many prayers we're doing. Um, and so cleanliness in general is a very big part of, of our faith. Al-Tawabin, those who return to him. Uh, so this is repentant, people who have, who are in a state of repentance, they are, you know, they have sinned, they have perhaps lapsed, and they return to God knowing that his uh, mercy is vast and they do not let um, their sinfulness impede that process of, of returning to him, no matter how many times they make mistakes. And there's quite a few different traditions of the Prophet Muhammad where he uh, shares that even if your sins uh, are as much as the foam of the ocean, 